Hey everyone, I got my tea ready and it's ready for another episode of Box Mining Daily where we take a look at what's happening on the news and in recent developments in the cryptocurrency world. Today we're going to start off with the market analysis, but the biggest news to hit us is really Baidu's announcement of the super duper chain. Because this is the first time a big internet company has launched its own chain. So we're going to look at whether this chain is a friend or a foe to a cryptocurrency ecosystem right now. We also have Bitmain because Bitmain had a recent filing of its IPO in Hong Kong. They're raising capital and potentially injecting that into Bitcoin Cash. But this may not serve as a wise decision and we'll look at what the current holdings are and the relationship between the IPO and Bitcoin Cash as well. We also have India. So this is some negative news coming out of India. India's cryptocurrency exchange ZPay has shut down its exchange services. But before we you know, really cause any alerts, they're not really halting withdrawals. So you can still withdraw your cryptocurrency and keep it safe there. So everything and more be covered on today's Box Mining Daily. And of course, everything covered here is my personal opinion not financial advice and of course if you guys like this video and more daily updates do click that like button of course subscribe to this channel and so let's start off with the markets first of all we got bitcoin at 6661 six dollars so the significance of this is that we're slowly moving up market cap returning to a little bit higher levels, $221 billion. Not significant movements yet for anyone who joined in January. But what we see right now is that with the markets, it kind of all follows each other. The rising tide brings up all the coins, it seems like. So we do have this gradual increase. I am still think it's too early to say if this is the sign of a bull run because obviously we do have daily fluctuations and for a bull run to really happen, it we need to have a corroborated kind of intelligence between newcomers coming in, news and other sources. So I will still be careful in this current market. Let's start off the news section by talking about the Baidu blockchain, the super duper blockchain. We're gonna form a super duper fucking group. We need them tough, morally flexible, and young enough to carry their own franchise for 10 to 12 years. So for those of you guys who don't know, Baidu is the biggest search engine in China. And in terms of internet companies, it's the third biggest internet company in China. So you can just look at this little bubble graph and they're at 73 billion dollars of that market estimated market capitalization according to the wall street journal so what's significant about this is that this is the first internet giant company to release their own chain we've seen in the past microsoft alibaba cloud and even amazon they dabbled in blockchain and a service as hosting services blockchain but they never provided their own chain and this is the first case of an internet giant releasing a white paper describing their own chain so the significance of this is that blockchain now is such a big mover and so important that these internet companies are jumping on board that big companies are taking notice of this and saying you know what we have to deploy something they also in fact they also created a few mini games as well so they um have this uh treasure box and university degree these little mini apps that aren't very substantial right now but can try to get people used to the idea of blockchain and the trust it provides they have over 50 patents. I was just trying to make sure to read this right. 50 patents protecting this. So it's pretty clear that they're putting a lot of emphasis on this. The fact that they're putting pushing out these patents, trying to have you know this corporate um, overlord type of control over technology. But what we know is that patents kind of hinder blockchain technology. The Bitcoin itself is open source. Well, another question you might be asking is, do they even have a coin? Right now, they're specifically pretty weak on talking about coins. The reason being is that coins and selling of coins, trading of coins is currently banned in China. And being such a big internet entity, what most likely they're going to do is they're going to try to avoid creation of coin altogether. Definitely worth a look at, and I'm definitely going to analyze more 
about this white paper and more information. And if you have any questions about this, I will try to answer them and just feel free to ask them down below. Now let's move on to the next topic of Bitmain and Bcash. Bitcoin Cash is not Bcash, alright? Alright, let's move on. So why this is so interesting, and I want to say that this is not financial advice and this is not an endorsement of the Bitmain ICO, is for two reasons. Reason one is that Bitcoin Cash has always been accused of to be con controlled or manipulated by Bitmain. Bitmain has a ton of Bitcoin Cash. One of the leaked documents that came out earlier on this year showed Bitmain having nearly $600 million worth of Bitcoin Cash. And if you just look at the market cap right now, Bitcoin Cash has less than $10 billion right now, $9 billion of market cap. So owning 600 million is a huge chunk of Bitcoin Cash. And there's been accusations that Bitmain has been kind of having a peg price. They've been trying to peg Bitcoin Cash at a certain level compared to Bitcoin. But the biggest problem here is that Bitmain might be running out of money to try to maintain that peg price. And even though that there are injections of money into Bitmain, how long can they keep this up? Especially after they have to reveal to public um, and they have a review and they have a responsibility to the public once they're a publicly listed company. So over here, what I do want to comment is that right now they are reporting less money in terms of their cryptocurrency holdings. So we don't know exactly how much Bitcoin cash they exactly hold at this current point. So in Q2, we don't know. But what we can say is that they still hold a huge, they still have a huge chunk of cryptocurrencies. And for Bitcoin Cash people out there, I do want to say that because they hold so much and because they can move the market, you're really playing against the house. Another reason why people are looking at this IPO is because of new mining technology. Bitmain is one of the dominant producers of ASICs, specialized mining equipment for Bitcoin. And if they can produce the next one, that means you have to buy new units soon and hash power will increase. Good for the network, but bad for current people who are mining. This filing report shows that there is a new 7 nanometer project. It's trying, trying so hard to compete against its rivals in Osilicon, eBank, and Bit, um, Bit3. But what's surprising is that there is a loss that they had um, last quarter in research. Because they couldn't produce the 7 nanometer chip because there were two unsuccessful productions of it. Right now, we don't know what the current status of this chip production and when the next product is being released. It seems like they're desperately trying to encourage investors to invest into their IPO. But the problem of these failed chips becomes a big problem for the company overall, but pretty good for miners who hold chips right now because, well, the hash power isn't going to the moon right now. One last bit of news is that ZPay, one of the major Indian Bitcoin exchanges, has shut down. So what happened earlier on this year was the Bank of India, RBI, they chose to freeze the accounts of exchanges. So that means that people can no longer deposit or withdraw fiat. What's happening right now is that ZPay, because fiat cannot be transferred in or out, they're shutting down their exchange services. This doesn't mean that their withdrawals for coins have shut down though, because you can't shut those down. But it does mean that it's gonna be harder for people in India to trade cryptocurrencies. We did have a few reports, so I'm pretty lucky in this channel to have a kind of user reports from India to say there are other exchanges in India. And also, of course, OTC trading India is pretty huge as well. So I'd love to hear if you guys are in India, if this affects you, if you guys are alarmed by this. Definitely, if I was a customer of ZPay, I would definitely try to withdraw as, well, as much as possible because at this current pit point, there's no more exchange there. So there's no reason to hold any value on these exchanges. It's kind of sad to see India banning 
cryptocurrencies and trying to stop the development. We've seen that happen in China as well. The key aspect though is of course, does that hinder blockchain development? And the answer of course is no. Because even though China has done something similar, they pulled a stunt similar in the past, we see <laughs> the release of a new Baidu blockchain. Blockchain technology itself is pushed forward. And at the same time, the sad part is that people, it's going to force people directly to trade underground and it's going to give the government and everyone else less intelligence of what's being traded, the exact amounts of what's being traded. That's basically what's happening in China because ODC there is still huge. People are still trading person to person. You can't, you can't shut that down. So this presents a problem for tabulation in the future, but definitely not a discouragement for blockchain technology. This whole point is that being decentralized, you can't freeze Bitcoin and other decentralized cryptocurrencies. So I'd like to hear anyone, if you guys are in India, what do you guys think about this? Um, leave a comment down below and I'd love to have further updates of what's happening in India. i also love to hear about what you guys think about this Baidu blockchain. It's coming in. It's also not issuing its own coin. It's trying to do a little bit of disruption but and encouraging blockchain forward. Do you think it's a friend or a foe? Love to hear your comments in the comment section below. And of course, if you guys like the updates like this, do hit up the like button. And of course, have a nice weekend. See you guys next time.